fantasy K that makes sense. In early 2000s Vampires vs. Werewolves movie Underworld, Vampires are almost exclusively using short barrel pistol caliber weapons, the standard automatic weapon being an MP5K. Meanwhile, werewolves are using mostly G36s and shotguns. I don't know if it was intentional, but it makes absolute sense. Since vampires rely on silver bullets staying inside werewolf's tissue, they don't want any overpenetration. A more powerful cartridge would be actually less effective against their opponents. Werewolves, on the other hand, want to deal the most tissue damage they can, so the vampire is less likely to mend it quickly. Any other examples of K-related stuff surprisingly making sense in fantasy? Man, I haven't thought of that movie in forever, but vaguely remember an it now. And thinking back, uh, since vampires rely on silver bullets staying inside werewolf's tissue, they don't want any overpenetration, a more powerful cartridge would be actually less effective against their opponents. No, this is trivial to work around. Until you get to like 50 BMG, near point blank penetration is basically 100% about the bullet. I've got 308 frangible ammo myself right now. It's very fun to be able to bang at steel with a battle rifle five yards away. But I've shot other vermin with it too, and against something as big and as tough as a werewolf, I don't think over pin would be an issue. Frangible silver bullets would be enormously better than even the liquid stuff IMO in terms of staying in tissue. Being impossible to remove and also still working at long range. The bigger argument for both sides, using smaller stuff, is they're so fucking fast and able to move far more 3D and in both cases, you're not really depending on conventional wounding so much as properties of the bullets themselves. So it probably makes more sense to err towards just having a shitload of ammo on you because lots is going to miss. Both sides are super strong and should be using very serious level 4 plate and other body armor though. So really, they should be doing some sort of frangible plus sinister ram hybrid bullet or something. You are right in some regards, but until you get to like 50 BMG near point blank penetration is basically 100% about the bullet. Disagree. Bullet plus load? Okay, but why use a huge ass rifle round to do the job of a 9mm? Remember, they had codes and rules and shit. They were supposed to be discreet most of the time. Against something as big and tough as a werewolf, I don't think over pin would be an issue. Don't forget that it has to work for both human and werewolf form. Very serious level 4 plate. Was there even any concealable rifle proof body armor at that time? Frangible silver bullets. Like silver hollow point? No way. Silver is too soft. Might not even reliably penetrate heavy winter clothing, not to mention light barriers. Composite bullets might work and I guess they could take over some Miltech business to do the R&D. But I guess they didn't see the need though. Niet, 9mm silver bullet is fine, does the job. And if one isn't enough, more had to come. In the movie, they were also confident they almost drove werewolves to extinction. So this just wasn't on their agenda. TLDR, anyway, I'm not paying for internet, so someone will accuse me of being wrong. So BTFO and on. Instead, better bring up some other examples of K-Fantasy. Based under Kino Enjoyer. Man, she gave me quite the boner back in the day. IIRC was one of those ones that film critics all fucking hated, yet people had fun with anyway. Man, shit totally had forgotten vampires slash werewolves was quite a thing for a little while. There are some sword or blade movie with a black guy vampire killer too back then. And Vampire Hunter D too. Much more interesting than all the zombie shit we were flooded with later in retrospect. And on. Don't you think it's more likely just because vampires are creatures of stealth and cunning and werewolves represent brute force? Rifles don't have to overpenetrate. See pick related which is 545 by 39 in FBI gel. Only one of the tested rounds passed 18 inches. I think this is the most likely explanation, not gonna lie. 
That's why I said I'm not sure if it was intentional. Since vampires rely on silver bullets staying inside werewolves' tissue, they don't want any overpenetration. A more powerful cartridge would be actually less effective against their opponents. Or, use sufficiently powerful cartridge with bullet designed to break up at the velocity you can get. It fragments. The werewolves can't dig the rounds out, which they say in movie is the biggest problem with silver bullets. They didn't even need some finicky silver liquid bullets, hollow bullets filled with silver powder the whole time. Similar rounds have existed for a while. You are missing the point, Anon. It's not about, no, it's not the most efficient way. It's about, it's efficient enough. Once again, vampires thought they practically won the war. They were not interested in serious R&D, but yeah, the finicky silver liquid bullet is bull. Basically a plot device, as well.